Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Los Angeles, California, and today I'm hanging out with my friend Mexi Papa. Here we go. Woo, bro move. We are going to take you on a Mexican food tour. I'm not totally sure everywhere Mexi Papa is taking us today, but I do know that one of the highlights is going to be a place that serves some of the best carnitas in the United States. Oh. Oh, we're gonna have a chance to look behind the scenes where they literally have bathtubs of boiling meat and juices. Just squishing and squashing of meat. Serious meat juices coming up. It's gonna be an amazing day of Mexican food and hanging out with Mexi Papa. And I'm gonna share everything with you coming up in this video right now. Another day here, in man. LA. Here. Carnitas El Momo right here in Boyle Heights. The <laughs> pioneers of carnitas here. But you're gonna be able to see uh, some big jacuzzis <laughs> of carnitas. See, there's nothing more beautiful than a meat jacuzzi. And delicious. <laughs> and delicious. Let's go. Listo. So they have a food truck out front where they serve the carnitas, but we are heading immediately into the back, into the warehouse. It's like a tent shack. Carnitas El Momo, Mexi Papa. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And then here's another point. These are copper pots. These are copper pots. Yeah, this is the real thing. This oh, is what man. they use in Mexico. Copper. Oh, Massive jacuzzis of copper boiling meat. That is what you call shaking meat. Now, did you hear that sound of it? Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the most satisfying sounds you could ever hear. But here over here, this is some of the, the cooked meat right now. Oh. oh, what I'm talking about. Oh, Mexi Papa, that is heavenly. You think, you think they'll have some carnitas cologne we can buy? I would be the number one customer straight out of the bathtub. So this is pork butt bone in. Wow. Salud. Thank you, Billy. This is kind of hot. Another <laughs> piece. There you go. First bite. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Oh, wow. It's like butter, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Billy's a man. Mama. Billy's a man. Mm. I, I keep telling him he should run for mayor. <laughs> I'd vote. <laughs> that is just unbelievably soft and tender. And even though it's lean, the f like, that yeah, lard that lard has seeped through the muscle, broken it down. That is unbelievable flavor. Life-changing flavor, man. <laughs> That's just the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, that is. Amazing. I don't even want to swallow. I want to just hold it in my mouth. <laughs> what is that when you That's, uh, the sprinkle color? that? The color? What is it, ah, Billy? Okay. That's our secret sauce. Uh, it's, it's a sauce, though. So that's a sauce that you, sauce. you kind of like spray it adds on. It color and it adds flavor. So it's spices and... What's your name, man? Chris. Chris. So Chris is unloading the batch, this batch of carnitas, and just like chunks of pig, which have been boiling in their own juices, in their fat. I mean, carnitas is pork, all parts of the pig boiled in their own fat. Well, how long does it boil here four, for? Four to five hours. Four to five hours. Yeah. Boiled four to five hours. It smells unbelievable. The richness of that melted fat. This is some of the greatest ever meat jiggling and meat 
uh, sounds that you'll ever hear, just squishing and squashing of meat. Well, we're gonna start off with this, uh, a, just a pork butt bone in, and then we'll go to all stomach, and then we'll go to uh, all skin, yeah. then we'll do the mixed one, and then we'll do the, the burnt ends at the end. Buttery soft. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so you said this one is the shoulder. Pork, yeah, okay. pork butt bone in. Pork butt, pork butt pork bone, bone in. in yeah. Here comes the jalapeno. Yes. Thank you, Billy. Bam, <laughs> Come on, so, the, rancho, bro. so that's that's the way to eat the carnitas, just straight up, yeah, just straight a jalapeno, jalapeno, a pickled jalapeno yeah. with the pork. Totally focus on the, this is the the carnitas itself. Yeah. This is the traditional way. Mm. So the strategy for me is bite the jalapeno, pour some juice in the taco, and then bite it. Oh, because when you bite the jalapeno, it's gonna unleash yeah. juice. I cannot wait. Pot to tortilla. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. Get your jalapeno. Jalapeno. Bite. Mmm. Juice. Oh, look at that juice. Mmm. Okay, now you have the perfect carnitas taco. All that juice just sprayed. The jalapeno juice sprayed all over it. A few carrots in here. Oh man. That's all the vinegar, mm -hmm. the, the spiciness cuts into that fat. That is a life changing moment. It's so tender. You're like, the fattiness of the carnitas, you don't even feel it. Yeah, because of the acidity of that jalapeno. But the flavor of the, the pork is so powerful, so strong, so condensed. I mean, it's been boiling, it's been simmering in its own fat for like five, five hours, I think he said. Its own fat just penetrates flavor into the muscle of this shoulder. Mm. Why don't you try the mixed one? So we're gonna go mm. on to the, the stomach now. Okay. Hey, we gotta finish the taco fast because we're moving on to the next pig part. Like every piece of meat you try tastes different. Mm. So when you go to, I mean, other places, I don't know what their cooking process is, but it mm -hmm. all tastes the same. Mm. So here you're able to taste the, the stomach, you're able to distinguish from the skin to the to the meat. And when even when it's all together on the mixed taco, mm -hmm. you're able to experience that differences of, of cuts that mm. are in there. You know? So this is stomach, right? Stomach, yeah. Stomach, buche. Let those juices drip. Pick it up. Buche. Mm. Unbelievably tender, yet it still has texture at the same time. Creamy and buttery almost. Buttery. Yeah. Taste is very addicting. And then if you notice, like you said before, the jalapeno just makes it better. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. I don't even believe it. <laughs> that was delicious, man. Mm -hmm. Skin only. Oh, oh, oh man. And my dad always said, no, you don't want the meat too choppy. You know, you want it. You want the. Mm. the you want the person to like be able to bite it and bite it and bite it. So every so you bite, feel that texture every of Every bite, you're getting more of a kick. Mm. You know. Look how. Look at the color. It looks almost. I mean, it's caramelized. Oh. It's tender, it's juicy, jalapeno ready to be scored on top. One of the awesome things that Billy is hooking us up with is isolating each part so that we taste the full effect and the full different texture and flavor of each part of the carnitas of the pig. Like noodle slices of pig skin, which are just, you can tell how soft, how jiggly, and how tender they're gonna be. A carnitas yo-yo. You wanna give this a try by itself? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Let's just taste the piece first. All right. Oh. You see it? 
the taste keeps on coming and coming. Different tastes, different flavors. Oh wow, yeah. How good is that? I don't even know what to say. It's like unbelievably creamy. Slides around in your mouth. It will be good to eat a jalapeno to contrast that richness. Yes, ready? Oh, that was a juicy jalapeno. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Smashed. <laughs> I couldn't stop. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I'm also gonna separate it. I let the manteca come out as much as possible. Uh, so that skin, so that skin, you yeah. scrape off the bottom and those yeah. are called the burnt ends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me just take out the quarrels. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mark and Mr. Mexi Papa Chai is something we're sort of known for, which is the burnt ends. Um, when you're done cooking carnitas, because all the small particles that fall off that pork butt bone in and the buche, the stomach, the cueritos, they all fall to the bottom of the pot. So we're done taking everything out, and this is where all the flavor sits in, which is the migajas, asientos burnt ends whatever you want to call it and this is what we have here and it's it's an explosion of flavors in your mouth this is the granddaddy of all this taco right here you ready man same procedure same, same strategy procedure. bite and spray but different flavor though oh yeah i love those juicy jalapenos the burnt ends Fully loaded. Bam. <laughs> oh wow. It's like all the parts of the pig. In one taco condensed. All in one. One flavor. And the one flavor. Wow. Freaking delicious. <laughs> I can't even believe that. That's like the most pig flavor you could possibly have per square centimeter in your mouth it gets you emotional. that is yeah i literally want to cry i had a tear <laughs> you smashed it i cannot even <laughs> carnitas hug carnitas hug <laughs> i needed a hug <laughs> so I'm gonna serve up the mixed taco which has pork stomach, some skin, pork butt bone in, and then I top it off with some of the burnt ends. So you, you're getting you're getting four meats in one taco. That is heavy. <laughs> I'm already getting the, the carnitas meat sweats. Jalapeno. I'm moving slower. Mm. Slower than before. Oh, you got the juicy one this time. Oh, that's monstrous. Look at the size of this. Yeah, this is heavy, yeah. This is heavy, yeah. Twice as heavy as the other one. Yeah. <laughs> This is a man who knows how to eat a taco. <laughs> oh man, that was an unbelievable experience. Same. <laughs> I'm walking a little slower now. Underneath the sign behind this gate awaits one of the greatest food experiences in Los Angeles. Hidden gem, brother. A hidden gem.
We're out here street side now. Again, this is where the food truck is. And then in the back is where they cook the carnitas. We weren't expecting, we already, how many tacos did we have? Five. Five tacos. And somehow like Billy kept making them bigger and bigger and bigger. But he hands us a torta, bread, toasted, filled with, you can see the burnt ends and then just literally an entire half a pig's worth of skin. Oh, it's warm, it's gooey. Oh, wow. yes. The gooiness, the jiggliness. It's so gooey and fatty and meaty. I never had a torta from here. Wow. Back in Mexico, they used to uh, feed the pigs like a lot of food and then they will sell them by the pound. I think that's what they want to do to us. <laughs> they want to get us all chunky and then sell us by the pound. <laughs> but look at this, man. This is what is called a mulita. Packed with carnitas, cheese, and then crusted cheese right on the outside. Insane, brother. It's hot right off ooh, the ooh, grill, ooh, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, cheers. Oh, wow. well, they put carnitas and everything and everything just tastes so good. So, good. so much cheese. Mm. Oh man. Hey. Otra vez nos vemos? Otra vez nos vemos? Estoy rendidito de Dios. Oh, Momo. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Eh, buenos días. Oh, él man. Se llama Mark Waynes y él va alrededor del mundo probando diferente comida. A massive honor to be hanging out with Mr. Momo. He's the one who started, who brought the carnitas, and it's just an honor to hang out with him, to be in his presence. Wow, and I just love his that that smile, yeah, that smile, that happiness. Salamanca, Guanajuato. That's that's the hometown is Salamanca. Thank you so much for sharing your your family story, and man, I mean, I don't understand all the Spanish, but with the help of your translating, but even if I didn't speak a single word with your father, with Mr. Momo, the smile on his face, the look of joy when in his eyes is just incredibly special. And that's why I, I love your, your channel, bro, because a lot of the stories you talk about and you, you, you know, you present, remind me a lot of my family mm. because i mm. love the fact that you go to these hole in the wall places mm. and bro that's like to me i feel like i'm watching my family story again thank you very you know, much because i started following you like four years ago four years ago and i seen you come along so like dude you're, you're thank you, know, you. it's a it's billy. an honor it's an honor honestly thank you billy thank you billy Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Massive honor. Mucho gusto. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. He used to he used to box. Oh he used to box. Wow. An absolute hero of carnitas, of food a story of coming to the United States and building something that he pursued. And that is, wow, that was special. That was just literally a five minute drive from Carnitas del Momo. We're at the next place. Yes, yes, yes. We're in uh, East LA. Is very iconic for Hispanic culture, Mexican culture. Mm. As you can see in the background yeah. over here. Love the murals. So much artwork in this area. Yeah. So many little markets and restaurants and little stalls. Yes, yes. Mm. And this place is very unique. Taco Santa Rita, that's what it's called. Taco Santa uh, Rita. Estilo Jalisco. But they got something very specific, very special, something very delicious that people drive far from. It's called pescuecitos de pollo, chicken eggs. They're deep fried, but yes. it's so good. 
chicken necks next. Yes. Santa Rita Jalisco. What a cool place. The main kitchen is this ornate, beautifully designed food truck. It's a bus, a food bus with murals on the outside. And they're doing most of the cooking, I think, in the truck. And then they have this whole built-in permanent patio seating section, which is also fantastic. We're about to go into the truck. We're gonna see as they deep fry the chicken necks and see what they do here. Man, that's just like a, a violent deep fry. Just submerge them, they just erupt in an explosion of oil and deep friedness. Uh, you can see maybe a little bit of spice or marinade on those chicken necks, I'm not totally sure, but he just puts like fistfuls of them into the deep fryer, drops them in. Wow, that is intense deep frying, a cloud of oil. They go through about 6,000 pounds of chicken eggs a week. That's about 24, 25,000 pounds a month. That's a lot of chickens. The next question is, how many pounds per, how many necks per pound? Four necks per pound. Yeah. Four necks per pound. <laughs> Who's good at math? <laughs> You've got to be better at math than me, yeah. 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes, minutes, okay. 20 minutes. So that's 24,000 necks per week that they make here. Uh, and they deep fry for about 20 minutes. So you, you can tell that crispiness is gonna go all the way through, through the bone. That's what you call a tub full of fresh deep fried chicken necks. And you can see how that color has changed to golden brown, how the skin around it has completely crispified, how even the bones have turned crispy. Oh, those are beautiful chicken necks. And just look at the way they're crispy all the way through. Plus that salsa looks amazing. Salsa fresca. Salsa fresca. Yeah, and what fresh. salsa fresca does is not spicy. Mm. Very, very flavorful. And again, it's all to make the chicken necks Just to taste complement better. those chicken necks. Yes. So you can eat them different ways. You can just pick them up, put some salsa in it, salsa fresca, and just bite them like that. Or you can get them in a tortilla and a taco. Ah, so okay. how about we start off with uh, putting just some that. salsa fresca on it? I think, yeah, I think so. Or you want to just eat one straight up? Let's just eat it straight, straight up. up. Some of them are hairier than others. I'm going this one right here. I like, I like little little uh, fried the little skin on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. With the skin, because yeah, they kind of have, they all have a little different, their own identity. It's all a different chicken. <laughs> yes. Hey, they're probably cousins right here. It's right out of East LA, Taco Santa Rita. Iconic. Iconic, man. So good. Okay, let's go over. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh good, huh? So many textures. Crunch down on the bone. You can eat the entire thing. Mm. People might think that they don't have meat, but trust me, they got a lot of meat in them. And, and that's a, yeah, so it has bone in it. Well, you can eat the whole bone and all, yeah. You can eat that meat, which is so, so moist. I think it's so oily, right? Yes. The, the neck bone. Yes. Neck bone meat is so oily and moist. A 
fresh one. This is your salsa fresco. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you pour some on mine. I love that. It's almost orange. It's so red. Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, it just has this amazing pop to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can drink that salsa. And you know like, chicken neck bones are something that probably in most of the United States are discarded or thrown out. It's a part that's neglected. So I love to support anybody who is using the lesser common parts of an animal. No waste. Right. No waste, man. And it's so good. Mm. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna just drench it in this salsa. You were right about that salsa, Mexi Papa. The salsa, like they're good on their own, but you need that salsa to like break that, that crispiness, that oiliness. It's so addictive, right? Yep. You just can't stop eating these things. You can crunch the entire bone. Uh, eat them different ways. When you're licking your fingers, playing with uh, bones. It is really good. And there is one more way to eat these pescuecitos in a taco. In a taco. Okay. Why right, grab yourself a tortilla? Thank you, Mexican Papa. Sure. Grab a neck. Oh, ho, ho, look at that grab skin. A neck. There's like a chicharron on this one. <laughs> it takes a pro to eat a taco or pescuecitos, by the way. <laughs> mm. You bite a smiley face into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This, my friend, is how you eat a taco de pescuecitos. Taco de pescuecitos. Oh, it's so good. It is good with the tortilla as well mm -hmm. to absorb the salsa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. All the different textures, the crispy skin, the meat. I mean, even the meat is crispy. Yes. Everything is crispy and then moist, so moist. Chase that with some onions. Radish. Mile. We're back in South Central. Yes, South Central, a very, very iconic and famous place and very loved here in LA. Uh, we're right here at Avalon and Slauson. It's called Taco Los Poblanos Estilo Tijuana. When you think of tacos in LA, uh -huh. you think of this place. This is the spot. This is the spot. Los Poblanos is starting to come alive. All the taqueros are getting their stations ready. The steak is going on. The jalapenos are roasting. The uh, al pastor is starting to spin. They're gonna get ready to pour those salsas very soon. They're gonna make handmade tortillas here as well to go with everything. But what a just, what a street corner in Los Angeles. Thank you. 
Mexi Papa is going to teach me a move with the fresh tortilla. This is a move that is very dangerous. Do not try this at home. This is for professionals only. Only professionals. Right, Mark. <laughs> and you can see how the tortillas puff up. Right in the camera. Go, 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 go. One, two, three, go. Oh, pro move. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Nothing like a fresh tortilla, bro. Oh, yeah. That masa. Oh. Even the texture, the gooiness. You know, it took me years to practice this move. But I can't believe you got it at the first shot. <laughs> it takes a pro. Back over to the grill now. More steak is going on and then some of the chorizo is on the grill now. An ultimate system that they, they have going here. I mean, from the fresh masa all the way in the end. Grab a fresh, then one of the stations, when they get an order, they grab one of the fresh tortillas, literally cooked seconds ago. Then you get your choice, the al pastor, the grill, the variety of different tacos that you can order. So fresh, so good. What a system. First thing that we're ordering is a quesadilla and for that they make a extra large tortilla corn tortilla and put that on the the hot plate she adds a handful of cheese onto it and then we're gonna see what they add next I like the combination of carne asada and chorizo and then they make this tortillas handmade with cheese best combination ever trust me literally in like 30 seconds from masa to quesadilla wow everything cooked fresh okay, I'm just gonna do an opening reveal to show you what's inside no secrets <laughs> look at it's all perfect in there <laughs> oh man the cheese holding it together the guacamole the onions that mix of chorizo yes so perfect best combination ever mark yes truly so for, for truly me. a magical device <laughs> that is heavy ready ready the greatest quesadilla ever Oh, wow. Combination of the carne asada, chorizo, oh. the tortilla, bro. And the fresh tortilla makes a difference. Mm. A huge difference. The chorizo just bumps up that flavor. The cheese is melted. The crunch of the onion, the salsa in there, the creaminess of the guacamole, everything you could possibly want. I don't want to be holding anything else in my hand, ever. Mmm. Oh, wow. We come on, baby. Just right off the grill, right into your quesadilla. We saw everything in this entire thing being cooked. Yes. From start to finish. Right here. Mm-hmm. Seriously, it's this is so good. Unbelievable good. Mm. It's huge, but you don't want to set it down. Mm. You can't <laughs> set it down. 
set it down, you feel like you're gonna, you're gonna run away or something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Somebody might take it from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're in South Central. <laughs> Spectacular. Do not put your quesadilla down here. Six inch piece of chorizo in a fresh tortilla. Mexi Papa got his just with salsa, I got mine with salsa and guacamole. It vaguely reminds you of eating a hot dog, a much, much better one. Right? I guess so. Maybe kind of like a Mexican hot dog, you would say? This has tortilla and chorizo? Almost cannot stop smiling when you're about to take a bite of this. You just start feeling giggly. <laughs> This doesn't get old for me, man. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Oh, the flavor of that chorizo. The, like, chili oil that burst in your mouth. Then with that salsa. Oh, yeah. Cannot mm. go wrong with the salsita. Like I said, very man. simple, but so good. So good. Mm. Look at that chorizo. Right now there. that's the way to eat a chorizo, yeah. And it's so much fun to eat. I don't want to even talk. No. We're done talking for the day. Yes, we are. <laughs> you got two more bites? I got one. Should I wait for you? Is this our final bite? Final bite? Final of bite the day. of the day? Yes, okay. final bite of the day. One second. And you know what? Best bite ever. Crunchy. Mm. Part in your mouth. <laughs> one more, one more. Those, those, those are fish. What a day. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mark. Come on, where was it? <laughs> One, two, three, go. That's it, se acabó. One of the great legends of street food. I can guarantee you everything is spectacular. That quesadilla will just blow your taste buds out of this world. Unbelievable. One of the great destinations of Los Angeles. Los Cobrados! That wraps up another just unbelievably spectacular Mexican street food day with Mexi Papa in Los Angeles. Oh man, everywhere we went today, just top of the notch, iconic, great people, spectacular food. So I'll have all the places that we went to in the description box below. And also, I wanna say a huge thank you to Mexi Papa. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible. He's taking me to all these spots and I'm grateful for his help. And I mean, it's just fun to hang out with Mexi Papa at the same time. And yeah, be sure to follow Mexi Papa. Go check out his videos and his social media. I'll have all his information in the description box below. And also a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. And also remember to watch more Los Angeles food videos, uh, which you can check them all out. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from LA, and I will see you on the next video.